sniffers. Today, I have no bird. Hello, my fellow sniffers. My name is Marlene McCohen, and I'm so excited to welcome you back to my channel with my best friend, Cody. Are you guys excited to see Cody? It's only gonna be one second before he flies off, so get a good look at him now. Okay, on cue, that's how my birds are. They're brilliant actors. Today, I have the best video for you guys. Something that you've all been asking me for, but you know, if you're a true follower of mine, that this is not my forte. Yes, today we are doing a birdie cooking show. You guys probably heard that I got to write an article in an amazing parrot cookbook something I definitely could not have put together myself, as you know how I am in the kitchen. But I have one of the writers coming today to show me the book and to do a recipe for you guys. Yes, I read your comments, and yes, I am listening to you guys, and yes, I am making it happen. So are you guys excited to see the book? Because I have not seen it yet, and I can't wait. Okay, I think she's here. How often do I walk this with you guys? All right. Hello! Hi! Oh my god! My doggies! They're excited! How are you? Okay, the dogs are really excited, so now show me the book when I Here it is. Oh my god. Guys, how gorgeous is this book? Oh my god, I'm on the back! I mean, I can't say I didn't know that, but this is my first time seeing it. There I am. I wrote an article in the book all about how to get your bird to eat vegetables. Very important information. Lots of secret tips in here. Oh, my baby, are in it. This is so cute. I can't show you anymore because it's a surprise. Just kidding. Guys, this book is written by Carmen Badai and Sheen Pao herself. So I actually have the official, official book writer right here to help us do a recipe. Now for those of you who are new to parenting, it's really important that you give your birds fresh, healthy food. Not just seeds, not just pellets. But that's why it's great that we have books like these. Now a lot of you love giving your birds pellets. I myself also love giving my birds pellets and a seed diet. But this book is actually sponsored by Topps Parrot Food. What I love about Topps Parrot Food is not only do they have healthy non-GMO pellets, but they're sponsoring this book, which is obviously not about pellets because they believe that pellets should be in addition to a bird's diet, not just their whole diet. That's what I love about companies like Topps. For those of you that want to know more about Topps Parrot Food and their pellets, it's a healthy, non-GMO, cold-pressed pellet. That's what's really amazing about it. And your bird will absolutely love it. Do you like it, Vinny? Yeah, Vinny likes it! I put the Topps link below for those of you who are interested because you guys ask me all the time. Let me just show you a bag. This is what it looks like. Now I really like these because I don't have to guess anymore if what my birds are eating are healthy. Sheen introduced me to Topps. Sometimes when I try new foods, I pull out all the seeds and the coloring will stick to my hand. Even if they say it's natural food coloring or vegetable coloring, I'm always suspicious, but you don't have to worry about that with tops. Guys, sorry, my bird's on a business phone call right now. What are you obsessed with? You suggested tops to me? Wow, this place is crazy. And honestly, when you recommended tops to me, I was kind of worried about switching my birds over because Usually when you try to switch a pellet on a bird, I mean, even if you're trying to get bird seat pellets in general, they're just gonna throw it away and you have to come up with a lot of weird tricks to get them to eat it. Some of those tricks, by the way, will apply to pellet eating that I wrote in this book about vegetables. Yes, you cannot eat this book. No, I know you like it. So I was worried, but Picasso took to the pellets right away actually, and I was really pleased at that because I have, Six birds here, and you never know who's gonna like what. In fact, Vinny recognizes the bag when he sees it, and he tries to open it because he wants to get in it. So yeah, I think your birds will like it, especially if you put the time and effort into getting them to switch over. Tops is something that you really can trust. That's why I like them. So thank you for introducing them to me. 
And for those of you that just cannot get your birds to eat pellets, they do have some seed diets as well, which are also important for birds, so don't feel bad. But as a responsible parent, you always wanna make sure that you're on the up and up of the newest, coolest, healthiest thing. Speaking of which, Sheen has decided to help us make one of the recipes in this book today so that we can all follow along and learn how it's done. Of course, I brought in the expert, just like I brought in the expert self-defense guy. I never really do these things myself. Come on, you gotta bring in the big guys, right? So Sheen, what recipe are we doing today? Well, I'm gonna tell you in a second, but I have a surprise for you. What? Cannot do a cooking show without okay. the proper accoutrements. don't know Sheen made me this logo Sheen and Larry actually and she's been putting it on things to excite me what do you think what do you think Vinny do you mind if I wear this with your picture on it oh my god I am so excited so we're gonna wear this like all official and stuff yeah and mine is Parrot's Fine Cuisine Ooh, you have the one from the cookbook yeah. Oh my God, this is so exciting. How do you think, guys? Do you think I look good in an apron? I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, I could tighten it and everything, but not with two birds on me. All right, what do you guys think? You like? And if this goes well, maybe we'll do a cooking series. Let me know in the comments below if you want more cooking series. If you just want to see me mess up in the kitchen. So what are we doing today? All right, so today we are going to do a fairly simple salad and a little bit of a foraging treat. We are going to do a crunchy Monday chop. It's on page 67 in the book. I had to improvise a little bit because not everything is always in season, but uh, go ahead and create this wonderful little chop. Now with some parrots, depending on your parrot, you will either want to chop these items really small and mix it up. It'll be easier for them if they're new to this kind of uh, organic and healthy vegetables, or um, some birds prefer larger, larger pieces. What if you have a bird like Jersey that likes things mushy? Can you blend it up? Absolutely, you can put it into a food process processor and mix it very uh, thoroughly and serve it for them to enjoy. Yeah, because I do find that if you have a hard time getting your bird to eat vegetables, when you mush things up, you'd be very surprised at what a bird is excited about. Okay, so how do we start? Okay, well, we already have some things that uh, you have chopped up for me, which is wonderful. She lies, I didn't chop up anything. I made her come chop it up before we got to this video. Okay, what do you have first? Okay, so following the recipe, it calls for watercress, but watercress is not in season. So I went ahead and got dandelion greens, which is really nutritious for your bird. I've chopped them up very fine. So we're gonna add that to the bowl. Then we have broccoli, also very finely chopped. And all of this you can put into a food processor, chop it up really quick. Then we're going to put in a fourth of a cup of cucumbers. Which I just like to just kind of eyeball it. It depends on how many birds you have. Then we're gonna do the sweet corn. I don't have okra, it's not in season either. You saw okra as part of the recipe, and then you said, I don't have that, I'm just gonna put sweet corn. No, sweet corn is actually part of the recipe, Oh, but I didn't have okra. So. Oh, so you just take it out, no big deal. That's what's amazing about feeding birds, they don't care. Right, not only that, but if you know the things that your bird enjoys, you can add those to these recipes as well to kind of entice them if these are new foods. Variety is really important when you start to go organic, try a whole bunch of different new kinds of vegetables because they're gonna be getting new nutrients and nutrition into their body. That is just the way to go. This is looking good so far. Will I be eating this for lunch or, hey, or will I be sharing it with the bird? You can completely share it with the bird, put a little dressing on it and you're good to go. Oh, wow. So we're adding some parsley. Oh, really parsley. Good. Pomegranates are not in season, so I've got cranberries. Oh, are cranberries the substitute or? No, cranberries are also in the recipe. Oh my God, the birds are gonna be loving this. And you can put them in larger or you can also put them in the food processor and make them smaller bits. This legitimately looks like something 
know, look at it, a trendy Los Angeles restaurant for lunch. Right, and it's so good for your birds. It's so delicious. This is amazing. And we're gonna add some carrots. Oh, carrots. Now we are actually gonna add a little bit of oregano. A lot of people don't know this, but herbs are really good for parrots. Uh, herbs and spices have amazing nutrition in them. There, we have a nutritional list in the book that will tell you what kinds of herbs are safe for your bird. We have a uh, safe and toxic oh, list. Oh, so if I want to create or add, or if I mm -hmm. just want to use it exactly. as a reference, I could totally be like, oh wait, I don't remember. So you could, I could have the book at home, but when I go shopping, take a picture of it before I go so I yep. know yep. what herbs I bring. What are safe, because there's some things that are not safe for, for birds. So we have the, the safe and toxic list. Oh, you have a toxic book. list in there. Mm -hmm. Outstanding. I love the toxic list. This is looking beautiful. And some. Okay, and now we're adding hazelnuts. And now these are soaked. Now the most amazing thing about soaking and sprouting that I want to let everybody know. You know, when you have a seed, everybody is starting to learn that seeds are not good for parrots. Sunflower seeds, if you're just feeding sunflower seeds, you can give them fatty liver disease over time. It can do all kinds of harm. So one of the things that we include in this book are uh, soaking and sprouting seeds. They're full of nutrition. It's amazing, once they start to soak, they go through this process where their nutrition is just unlocked inside of them. So just soaking the seeds can start to unlock that nutrition. And then when you extend that and let them sprout, it's even a more explosion of nutrition. So adding these seeds to your bird's salads is just an amazing way to give them incredible healthy nutrition. Okay, so what you're saying for those of us who don't know anything about the kitchen, although a lot of people know that seeds get a bad reputation, but if you sprout them, it unlocks amazing nutritional value amazing. for your parrots. Mm -hmm. Now, did you have to sprout anything before you came here today? I did. I sprouted. Here, I'm going to show you. This is what a sprouting jar looks like. And these are mung beans that have been starting to sprout, but you can see that they've got the little tails going on them. And it's just very simple. This is a wire mesh in, on the top. You use clean, pure water. Also something that really helps because you're, you're sprouting for sometimes for days. So bacteria, we're all very aware that you don't want to leave your dishes, food dishes in longer than you know, three hours maybe in your parrot's cages. So when you're sprouting, same thing. You know, you don't want any kind of bacteria to start growing in there. Get a bottle of this. It's, um, it's grape, grapefruit seed extract, like an antibacterial. And you just put in 18, about 22 drops into a gallon of water so it lasts forever. You're going to be rinsing your seeds in this periodically throughout the days. Oh, so you could have sprouting Sunday and you just sprout on Sunday yep. and then they come out on Tuesday. And then you just bring them out as their the rest of the week. However long of a batch you've done could last you the entire week. Well, I have two questions for you. They're very non-pretentious cooking questions. First thing is this sprouting jar. Can you buy a sprouting jar or? Yep. Okay, so like it has this uh, screen on it. Come. Oh great, so I'll put that in my products I love in the Amazon cart for those of you who are like me and don't know this kind of stuff. And the other question I have is for people that don't want to be overwhelmed with sprouting right now, mm -hmm. can they just get this cookbook and put the ingredients in it and Absolutely. not sprout until they're ready? Absolutely. Okay, because I'm all about making things easy and efficient, yes. especially with all of the parrots that I have in my house. So following this cookbook and a sprouting Sunday, which will come later on, that will be perfect for me. And especially that I can freeze them. Yes. And there's instructions on how to do everything in the book. So Dr. Jason Crean is an aviculturist and an avian nutritionist, and he has even written a day by day guide for creating mash. Wow, this is like a complete nutritional guide for mm -hmm. parrots. Yeah. But you just need, all you need is this. Okay, that's exciting because I'm level one. I mean, because we make chop for our birds, but I mean, I'm sure you could guess who's in charge of that. Okay, so where are we with the recipe now? Okay, so we just need to add I'm our buckwheat. This uh, is semi-soaked. So these are all very nutritional. 
right now. Let me mix that up. Okay, so now we're just gonna add some chia seeds in here. These have not been soaked. When chia seeds are soaked, they turn into kind of a pudding mix, which mm. can be really fun for your bird. And that's it, here we go. We have an incredibly nutritious salad for your birds. You're kidding, we've made it already? I could get like pretty little sprout jars. Guys, I can do this. Very simple. This is very exciting. Look at what we have made. Oh. So now those of you who want to create foraging with food, we have another little recipe. We've got a couple in here that are really fun to do. This one is with artichokes. And artichokes. Yeah. So we've got an artichoke here. Okay. And all we're going to do is open the leaves up and stuff them. No with, way. Yeah, and then you can put this in there for your bird. We have carrots, we have radishes, peppers, fun thing also to do slices of fig. You can put anything in here. Your bird's favorite food in here to go with. You want to try a variety of different foods that your bird has not tried before. Variety is really important so that you're not feeding your bird the same food over and over and over again because then he's not getting all mm -hmm. the nutrition that he I think variety is key because you can find out things that you didn't even know your bird eats. So exactly. if you're trying other things that you don't normally eat, mm -hmm. that's when you're going to find out other things that your birds like. I want to put one in. I'm excited. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, I have find a spot. And you can put in nuts. Now, also, you're going to want to soak your nuts. Soaking them unlocks more nutrition than if you were just giving your bird, you know, a raw nut. If but I could still give them a raw nut. Of course. Yeah, the reason I clarify this with you guys is because I always want you guys to know that we are aware of beginners and we are aware of experts. It's just like everybody welcome. You can get creative and you can become advanced through the book. You can start as a beginner and become advanced. And don't forget guys, if you don't like to cook, but there's someone in your house that does, you just hand them this book, okay? Because that's what my move would be. So here we have a wonderful foraging treat that you can offer your bird. And this will give your bird hours of entertainment. Hours, huh? Yeah. Oh man, you better look at this artichoke for a good hour, okay? Oh, Leo wants to see it. Oh, yeah. Well, that's actually why we had to put Vinny away for a second. Yeah, he was eating the artichoke. Because he was like, I'll just have this artichoke now. Thank you very much. Okay, Vinny. Auntie Sheen has made you something. A major improvement on your artichoke. You want to see it? Foraging is so important for your bird. It gives them activity, it gives them mental stimulation, and if you're doing foraging that's a little bit more creative uh, and a little bit more difficult for your bird to get into, then he's working out a puzzle in his brain in order to open something to get the, the treat out of it. He's also keeping his beak trimmed by working through foraging nuts, foraging toys, foraging tubes, whatever you yeah. want to put food in. And guess what, guys? A lot of you know this, especially those of you who don't own birds and you believe that birds should fly free. We all believe that, believe me. We're just trying to take care of the ones that can't because they're already here. A lot of birds get bored. They get really bored because out in the wild, they spend a good portion of their day looking for food, trying to find it, trying to discover it. And when they're in our houses, it's right there for them. And that's why they pluck and that's why they're bored and they don't exactly know what's causing it. So foraging food recipes can be an essential thing to add to your bird's diet, not only for health, but for fun and for mental stimulation which is pretty much what I think you were trying to say. Mm -hmm. So in the book, you also have pancakes and muffins and smoothies. Is there anything else that I should know of? Yeah, absolutely. Avian tea because tea is fantastic for birds. It helps with hormonal issues. It helps with feather plucking issues, cleansing and toxic issues. Well, that's very helpful because birds get at so many things in the house and you just worry. So to have the resource right in your kitchen, I think that's really valuable. I wanna thank you for making this book and letting me be a part of it. Absolutely. I'm excited, my birds are excited, I got a musician in the background yeah. playing for us. This is a very romantic scene. Is there anything else you want to let my audience know? Nope, that's it. It will be uh, available on Amazon. In a few weeks, will probably be available on Barnes & Noble online. Hold up. I mean, I'm excited for you and your book, but I'm excited for me because my article is 
in here. So don't forget guys to get this book. It's an incredible resource in all seriousness, but more importantly, my article's in here. So I'm thinking you're gonna really wanna read that. And then get to cooking. And I just want to do a shout out to Carmen Vidai. She's the one who wrote the recipes in this book and they're just amazing incredible creations. Uh, she's just done a phenomenal job. These are all her photographs that she did. Polly is one lucky bird. This is Polly right here. She has tested every single one of these recipes out with Polly and Polly's the best fed bird in the world. She probably is, huh? But guess what? Your bird can be too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you want more recipes to this series. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Marley McCohen. Check out the link below if you're interested in buying this book and you definitely should be as a good parent. And let me know in the comments when you bought it so that I can be like, hashtag super parent. If you're interested in tops or anything else that we mentioned in this video, check out my products. I love Link and just look at all the links in general because that's where all the good stuff happens. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Bye.